Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. Let's go plant out some succulents. This is a little planter I got back in December and we picked out all the little plants we're gonna plant in there today. This is an Echeveria Arctic Ice. This is a Sedum Pork and Bean. This is a Echeveria Topsy Turvy. And this is another Echeveria variety with purple variegation on the leaves. Here's the potting mix I use. I also add some perlite to help with drainage. It really helps my pots to dry out a lot faster and provides great airflow around the roots. I always work with completely dry soil. This way the open wounds aren't being exposed to any moisture. And now we have a really great mix. You can see that added perlite in there is just the way I need it. Let's show you what it looked like before and after. The soil on the right is before we mixed it and this is after. You can see that difference. So it's gonna provide really good drainage for our containers. We're going to back fill our container a little bit with some soil and tuck them in. And I try not to bury them any more than they were in the previous pot. Let's get this next guy done. The soil is pretty muddy on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take off as much as I can. Just make sure you do this really gently. I'm also doing this because this succulent was a little bit over watered. So I'm going to try to let this dry out as much as I can after I replant it. I'm not going to water this little arrangement for about a week. When I'm repotting, I also like to remove any dead leaves I see because this helps encourage a lot of pests to stick around and hide underneath them. I just go ahead and pluck them off one by one and if they're really dry and crispy, they should just come right off. I also like to tickle the roots and remove any compact soil around their root system so the succulent knows it can spread its roots into the new container. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.